Welcome to S&P Capital IQ's monthly loan market update. I'm Steve Miller, a member of the Leverage Commentary and Data team. Over the next few minutes, we'll review recent market trends. In preview, surging loan supply pressured technical conditions in September, though loan prices were largely resilient. Before we dive into the usual monthly analysis and update on loan volume, during the third quarter, new issue activity fell to $125 billion from $164 billion in the second quarter. Rising M&A activity crowded out opportunistic executions during the quarter. In all, issuers tapped the market for $54 billion of acquisition-related loans, the most in any quarter since 2007. Speaking of post-credit crunch highs, loan volume totaled $477 billion during the first three quarters of the year, putting it on pace to surpass 2007's record of $535 billion. The S&P LSE index posted a 0.24% gain in September after edging lower in August. Prices ran up the first two weeks of the month before retreating in the face of swelling supply. After peaking at an intramonth high of 98, the average price of index 100 loans retreated by about half a point by September 30th. Moreover, with interest rates trending lower in September, loan returns trailed those of high yield and other fixed income categories, reversing the pattern of the prior four months when 10-year Treasury rates were on the rise. The universe of S&P LSTA index loans grew $14 billion in September to a record $639 billion. There was more here than meets the eye, however. Adding in jumbo loans from Dell and Hilton Worldwide, both of which allocated during the month but won't fund until October, supply increased by a near record $28 billion. That amount dwarfs visible inflows from retail investors and CLO issuance, which eased to $11 billion during the month. Still, September's $17 billion supply surplus didn't entirely erase the year-to-date excess demand. As a result, loan prices eased only slightly, as we discussed previously. New issue yields, meanwhile, were a mixed bag. The highly sought-after double-B segment was unaffected, while single-B yields widened about 50 basis points. Likewise, the share of the market that cleared Covenant Light jumped to a record 68% in September. At this rate, more than half of S&P LSDA index loans will be in currents test only by the end of the first quarter of next year. Turning to credit conditions, the loan default rate climbed to a three-year high of 2.4% in September from 2.2% in August as a result of Gatehouse Media's default. Managers, however, remain constructive on the near-term outlook. On average, they expect the rate to ease to 2.2% by year-end, about one point inside the historical average, according to LCD's latest buy-side poll taken in mid-September. Looking ahead, most participants think supply is more likely to ebb than to rise in the out months of 2013, given the smaller calendar of new issue M&A loans illustrated in this chart. Arrangers say the picture lines up with their own read, with few jumbo loans in the wings to replace those that cleared in August and September. Assuming inflows continue apace, technical conditions may well strengthen in the months ahead, leading to more opportunistic trades. That brings us to the end of our overview. For more information on the loan market, you can check in with us on the web or via LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. The links for each is in the description of this video below. You can also download this presentation at slideshare.net.